Hi, Samuel Peary here with Getting Finances Done and 12 Weeks to Fiscal Fitness. And at this point, we've already gone through and we've had a paycheck and we've allocated that all out. And I've, I've done that so that we're down to zero available budget. We also had a little bit of buffer from last month uh, to start getting us ahead so we're not living paycheck to paycheck. And we've allocated that all out. Now we're going to receive a second paycheck. And there are really three scenarios for what's going to happen here. Uh, the first scenario is that if we've already filled out all our budget categories and we don't need that extra next paycheck of $2,000 for our budget, then we can either let that go into the buffer for next month or we can put it into a special savings category or a power money category. Uh, but let's go through those scenarios. In the first scenario, let's say that we haven't filled out our budget completely, so we're simply going to put it into this month's budget again. So we have $2,000, employer XYZ, and we're going to make it available this month since we need it this month. So we're going to save that, and when we go back to our budget, now we have $2,000 to budget. So it's as simple as that. Now let's say that we have already budgeted all our categories and we don't need any more money for our bud budget this month and we want to start building up our buffer. In that case, we can categorize it as available next month. And by doing that, it's going to automatically go straight into our buffer. So now we have a $2,000 buffer. We don't have anything left budget this month. And we have $2,000 starting out this month. Now if you have $2,000 worth of expenses a month, then that's a full buffer and you're set to go. Um, if it's more, then you, you, know, you want to keep adding to that as you can. Now let's say in the third scenario that you need some of that money this month and you need some of it next month. In that case, you can go to your checking account and simply do a split transaction. So let's see what that looks like. We're going to split multiple categories and you see that the grand amount is $2,000 and we have $2,000 remaining to assign. So we're going to go here and we're let's say we need half of it this month. So we'll put $1,000 there. We're going to add a new subtransaction, and we need half of it next month. And so we're going to put that there, 1,000. And we see that there's zero left to allocate, so we've done that fully. Now when we go back to our budget, we're going to see $1,000 available to budget, and we can put that you know wherever. Let's say we wanted to budget that into power money. Now it's zeroed out, and we still have $1,000 left over in the starting buffer. So those are pretty much the three scenarios you're going to run into. Um, if you have money left over, uh, it's certainly not a bad thing. In fact, the first thing I would recommend doing is building up your buffer. So if you want to let it go into your buffer, that's just fine. This is one of the only instances where you won't be completely allocating all your money um, You know, if you had money left over in your budget and you want to let it roll over to your buffer. Um, again, the other option is to, on additional income, to assign that to next month, and that'll be added to your buffer. Uh, in any case, that covers the three scenarios. So go ahead, and once you receive additional paychecks, you, know, you can treat it one of those three ways. And again, if you do receive additional paychecks that you need to budget for this month's budget, make sure that you print that out and sign it and write down any notes that you need to for that budget. And, uh, you know, so you want to make sure you go through that process. That about covers it for this screencast, and we'll talk to you soon.